the father of Sergeant N. Tarmendran, who was charged uh, for the theft of the two jet engines in January this year. Uh, the, as soon as he was charged, he was remanded in Sungai Bulo. Sergeant Tarmendran was not able to come out publicly and inform the Malaysian public what really happened to him during the process of this investigation which led up to his charging. His father is here today, he is going to reveal and he is going to call for an investigation as to the things that were done to Sergeant Tarmendran. Sergeant Tarmendran alleges that he was tortured severely at the army base by army officers in order in, in an attempt to force him to confess to the theft of the jet engines. This creates a big question mark. Who really stole those jet engines? Who was really involved? And was Sergeant Tarmindran just a fall guy? The big question marks that are raised. We will now launch the police report in which we will give details of what was done to Sergeant Tarmindran and what, what was done to him in an attempt to force him to confess. We have gone through the affidavits by Tarmindran. It is the tip of the iceberg because uh, it is unbelievable that a person like a Sergeant Dharmendran could have taken out these two jet engines which are so big and heavy all by themselves. Now who is being covered up? Is, does it go right up to the generals and right, right up to the defence minister? Or is this just one item or many many other items? I believe that there is more than the jet engines. Many many other uh, equipments, uh, spare parts have been stolen and have been sold. So we need to get to the bottom of this and the only way I think we can get to the bottom of this is to set up a Royal Commission of Inquiry because powerful people are involved. Powerful generals, powerful colonels, powerful majors in the army, the Air Force are involved. So we need to get down to the root of this and only a Royal Commission can do. Uh, we will make the report and then uh, come back and see you. Nagaraja is here. He has made a police report saying that uh, he wants the police to investigate further on the torture done to his son while investigations were going on. And uh, he has actually named persons in the Air Force who have done the torture on his son. Huh? One is Major Azam, the other one is Major Ismail. Major Azam and Major Ismail they tortured his son uh, Darmindran while uh, Darmindran was under investigations and uh, he wants to know why his son was tortured and uh, his son has filed an affidavit for the reduction of the bail. The bail is 150,000. Uh, now the question arises, why is the bail amount so high? Now a lot of questions are arising. Is the bail set by the court so high so that to prevent Darmindran from coming out and talking to the press and make it difficult to talk to the public or his lawyers. Why is the bail so high? And oral applications made at the Sessions Court to reduce the bail has been rejected. Now uh, the matter is in the High Court for review of the bail <coughs> amount. But that is one part. Other questions are arising. If we look at the affidavit of Dharmendra, the major who tortured him has asked him to plead guilty, to admit not only to the two jet engines, but to other parts, other equipments. So is this the tip of the iceberg? Is there something which we all do not know, where the top brass of the army or air force is involved, generals are involved in a major uh, theft scam or scandal, whereby for over a long period of time, uh, spare parts from the air force have been stolen by a syndicate involving the generals, the colonels and majors, and sold to outsiders as scrap or even worse sold to our enemies you know sold to our enemies who actually got other motive to undermine the security of the country i think that is what we are more concerned about more serious about that whether the army generals and colonels and majors in the air force have been used by syndicates for of course reward selling off national security items including information not only spare parts but information if they can sell uh, spare parts and equipments for money why not they sell information as well you know this is the problem uh, we are facing now and we do not trust the army we do not trust our police of course to conduct an independent fair investigation not only on Tarmindran but national interest as well so we I am of the opinion with my colleagues here that only a royal commission of inquiry can solve this problem can probe and find out and get 
to the bottom of the issue to find out how much of theft is involved, how many people are involved, who are the people involved. It could go right up to the defense minister. Who are the people involved? For how long this has been going on? Look at the names written on the on the helmet. They use marker pen to write names. He said these are the names of all the other people he has tortured using this helmet. And for every person he tortures with the helmet, he puts their name down. So the last name I think was Tarmendran's name. This happened in an army base camp in Malaysia. Okay. So that's why we believe that there was a larger conspiracy that is being shut up, that is being powered up by the authorities by torturing Tarmendran in order to um, uh, uh, get him to confess and save whoever other people who may have been involved. Uh, yes, uh, <coughs> after uh, seeing the report, I urge uh, the police immediately uh, to investigate, uh, to form an independent body, and also which we ask for royal commissioner, and also to investigate. Ini bukan pasir, ini bukan skru, ini jet engine hilang. This is a serious issue. Huh? So immediately to investigate. Bukan satu orang terlibat, memang ramai yang terlibat. So and also torture, like you see Kugan, kes kita ambil. Satu orang aja didawa. Dulu cakap sebelas orang, sekarang. Macam kes ini pun sama, satu orang aja didawa. So immediately to form an independent body to investigate. We are not going to stop here. Huh? Kita akan dapat ke keadilan untuk keluarga. Mula di sini, selepas next week, macam tadi saya sebut, kita akan pergi ke Bukit Aman, hantar memorandum dan kita akan bawa perkara ini di Parlimen. Ha? Kita bukan nak diam diri, kita nak minta penjelasan daripada Menteri. Ha? Menteri. So, sangat itu saja. Um, I mean, in this case, we don't really see a gross violation of somebody's human rights. It's also a gross perverse of justice, probably happening right before our eyes. Right. I think I speak for a very large percent of the population when I say that when it was it was announced by the uh, by, by by the uh, minister that uh, that one Indian sergeant was being charged, I think a lot of people asked the same question: How can one Indian man sergeant be involved in stealing the 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 uh, two jet engines? It is not a one man operation. I think I speak for. All the reasonable people in Malaysia, they ask the same question. So, this case, clear, right now, this police report, right, brought, brought, brought forth by the father, clearly indicates that there might be a bigger conspiracy at hand. And the authorities must take this seriously and answer to the public once and for all what on earth is going on. And because if, if the theft is not only two engines but numerous spare parts, then can you imagine the state of our national defense? What will happen if our our our, our men and women in the army are called to go go to, to come and defend for the country, and we find out that you know wings are falling off, you know, you know tanks are uh, you know tracks are coming off. So we need people to the, the government to take this seriously, form a royal commission, and do a proper investigation this time. Thank you. I just want to add one more on many occasions in Sungai Bulo recently and he has told me exactly what he has told his father and what is in the affidavit. Okay? All the torture that he was subjected to, he told me. I heard it also. And he has also further stated that he has told me that you know he has been in the army for many years. For him it's not just a question of clearing his name. He wants the public to know what is happening with the army and what is happening with the spare parts problem and then you know the, the the truth of what really happened to these jet engines he wants the public to know it's not just about clearing his name although that's very important to him now one more thing is the reason that that uh, the moment that he was charged he was immediately remanded because he couldn't raise the bail money it was in his intention to come out publicly the moment he's charged to tell the truth of what really happened he wasn't able to do that <coughs> he's been in remand we are trying to get his bail reduced and get him out but we've not been successful that is why the father is making the lodging the police report and that is why we are taking up this matter at this point of time just to clarify that